We have a 2004 Toyota 4Runner. This is a uh, fourth generation Toyota 4Runner. And what we're gonna do today is bring it in and we're in the sandblast bay. We're gonna sandblast the entire frame, the whole chassis, um, and really clean it up. That way we can get our repairs done a lot quicker that way. You can see the rear differential right here is leaking. We're gonna swap that out to that cover. This is the center section of the frame right here. You can see right on the seam here, it really, really split where it goes all the way down here. This will all be replaced. Now we're gonna work our way up to the front of the vehicle and you can see a big hole where we mounted it. And this is the front frame here. That's, that's just as bad. What happens is the water gets caught in these and it just stays in there. Rust issue and the rot issue is a real common thing on the forerunners. Just like the Tacomas, the Tundras, the Sequoias. But these forerunners, the bodies all really hold up and um, they just have bad frames. So that's what we're going to take care of today. This is the post sandblast job. This is what everything looks like sandblasted. And you see we opened up that frame right there. Even worse, so we're gonna, next step we're gonna cut this all out. So we've got our safety cap frame repair kits here uh, from back center frame and this is the uh, front frame, so everything connects. This is uh, made right here in Rhode Island. This is 11 gauge cold rolled steel and this um, has the uh, mount built into it. And then we go up to the center section. So what we're gonna do is on that frame, we're gonna cut out all the bad stuff and these are gonna slide up into place. We weld them on the inside and we weld them on the outside. You can see how the uh, kit fits perfect. This is the center section. And what we're gonna do now is uh, weld it solid. Then we're gonna move up to the front so you can see how this is curved. All the mount cutouts are there. We we engineered these so they, they fit perfect. Basically, you'll get a new frame out of it after we're done. This is the um, Forerunner. After our installation, we did uh, the ART 200 which is up in the front there. And um, he's doing a primer on that right now just to um, protect all the metal work that we did. And then we did uh, going towards the back, the center frame, which is the ART-201. And also um, where the rear trailing arm is, the ART-202. So this one had three different kits that we make installed. And um, you always got to take care of any bare metal. So right now we're using a really good primer on it. And then after we prime it, we're gonna undercoat it. We're um, inside of the frame here. We're gonna undercoat over our primer that we just did. And this is for extra protection. Pretty much doubled it, so this is never gonna rot out ever again. This will last forever. This really combats areas that use a lot of high salt. This undercoating is, this is a military spec undercoating, so it really, really lasts. They use it on Humvees in the military, and it's good enough for them, it's good enough for us. And then I'll go over everything and inspect it, and we'll get missed spots. We're real thorough with everything we do.